you guys, we are here with the Wake Channel at the first stop of the Pro Wakeboard Tour here in Groveland, Florida. And we're going to be breaking down the course a little bit. We're going to be talking about how it works, the layout, the actual like layout of the lake. Because we understand that a lot of you might not understand the way this competition goes. And honestly, I just learned how it goes this morning. So let's get into it. So the first thing is these riders each get a four trick pass each way. So four tricks this way, four tricks that way, and they're only allowed two falls. And on that second fall, they actually don't even get picked up by the boat. They get picked up by a jet ski and brought back to the shore. After the first fall, they'll get picked up wherever they're at and get pulled the rest of the uh, remainder of the course. Now, if the rider makes it all the way down through the course without falling, they actually get an additional hit called a double up. And what a double up is, is where the boat is going to circle around, driving back through its own wake, creating like basically a mega wake. This allows the rider, if they time it correctly, to get absolutely booted. They can go up, usually throwing their biggest trick, but if they time it wrong, they'll actually hit the double down, which is the smallest part of the wake, and they just kind of get launched across the wake. We're going to jump into the layout of the lake. You're going to notice every rider is riding this differently. They're all kind of adding in when they're throwing their biggest tricks, they're a little bit easier tricks. And the reason they're doing that is there actually is a massive shallow spot in the center of this lake. So there are some physical properties to this lake that make it a little bit more challenging for the riders to throw their bigger tricks. this event is there is actually two custom 2023 Super SA 550s that we have here that are just Pro Wakeboard Tour official boats. Um, if you're interested in seeing a walkthrough of those boats, we have that on our channel. And if not, here's just a little bit of a snippet right here. Now, not only does this boat have a split graphic on the inside, but it also has an asymmetrical split graphic on the outside. So on one side of the boat, you're going to notice there's a lot more blue and a little bit of black. On the other side, it's reversed. We're going to have a lot more black and a little bit of blue, making this boat that much more unique. Perfectly paired up with that blacked out package from PTM is custom graphics from Gator Step. So again, you're gonna notice up front we have this cool blue tones, and as we come back, we have this super unique blacked out pattern with a little bit of blue accents. Now this boat isn't only just looks. This boat is powered by the best, featuring the 575 Roush supercharged engine by Inmar. Now, before we jump into the action, I wanna talk a little bit more about uh, the riders because we have the like top pro athletes here at this event. So you'll notice we have Corey Tunison, who is ranked number one from last year. We have Nick Rappa, who's been like biting at his heels, trying to take that win back. And so really all these guys are going head to head, trying to take that top spot. So it adds a little bit of fun rivalry. And so it makes this event really, really fun to watch. And instead of me just chatting more about it, let's jump into the action. you guys here we are with Jamie Lapina amazing wakeboard and also a judge for this pro tour event are you judging this entire the whole all stops um, I am judging this stop and I am not entirely sure about the rest of the stops because I have a cable event during one of them I wish I could be here for all of it but um, this stop I am judging junior pro and pro men so okay. what is something that let's say the riders are really close that last heat was insanely close so how do you differentiate scoring one rider to another? So when the riding is as good as it is, it really comes down to the small things. You know, grabbing, uh, cleanliness, amplitude, you know, it really, the ex overall execution of your trick is, I think, what we're really looking for and the way that your run flows together, standing up. You know, you don't want to fall and drop a trick. 
it really, when it is this heated and the boys are this talented, it really comes down to those little things that we're looking for. As far as scoring goes, can you break down that point system for us? Yeah, so it's out of 100. Um, in the boat, we normally do it 1 through 10, and then, you know, you just turn it into 100s and 90s. Uh, the last seat, there was .2 in between all five riders. So, like I said, today things are tight, things are getting heated, everyone's throwing down. So, yeah, out of 100, um, in the semifinals, everyone gets one run, two falls. Your second fall, you're done. But for our pro men final, it's a little bit different format. Everybody's getting two runs, and each run will have a double up as well. So the top six men really get two chances at their best run in the final, and a double up, which is where the boat kind of turns, comes over its own wake, and you can, you know, go extra high, extra big tricks. So yeah, the finals are leveling up. It'll be exciting. Awesome. Well, Jamie, we love you, and we are so stoked to have you out here with us at the tour, and we appreciate you judging, and we are so stoked to see what you keep accomplishing this year. Um, if you haven't seen, Jamie has landed two new tricks. Yes. Tell them about it. I'm doing sevens now, which is cool. Um, it's, and cab seven. Right? Yes, yeah, and cab seven, which took me a while, but we got it. Um, I don't know. This year, I just want to do some new stuff and have fun and ride a lot, and yeah, that's the goal. Well, you're crushing. You're crushing. We freaking love you, and yeah, we'll see what the rest of this tour brings. We are here with Jet Lambert, better known as Jet Shreds, and he just threw down an amazing line. Jet, you are the youngest on tour. Yes. How does that feel? Feels good. Um, super stoked to be here. Super stoked to land down all the tricks I wanted to, and yeah, stoked to be here. Awesome. And you just signed with Mastercraft. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, how was that going to your first like sponsored boat shoot a couple weeks ago? It was super fun. I, everyone on the Mastercraft team is awesome. Um, they're just, everyone is super rad and I love the boats, so it's awesome. awesome. Is it, was it kind of hard like going there and riding a bunch and then coming straight to this event? Um, not really. Uh, I adjust pretty quickly because I like riding all waves and sizes, but um, yeah, it was awesome. Awesome. So you didn't really notice like is it, is it hard training behind that Mastercraft and then going to other competitions and, and riding behind different waves? Um, it's a little different at first, but once you do it for a while, you kind of get used to it, but yeah. Um, a couple questions. So a lot of our viewers don't really understand how this works, and I, honestly for surfing, I don't really either. So like wakeboarders have the four trick minimum each way. Do you guys have a minimum of tricks you can do? Uh, we do not. So this course is about 35 seconds, and just kind of throw all the tricks I want to in just a short amount of time, but uh, trying to fly through them really quick, and yeah. That's crazy. So do you, like, before coming to these events, do you kind of plan out what you're going to do or what you want to do? Um, sometimes. It depends on the contest for a Pro Wake Tour, since it's a big event. I'll plan a run, usually. But um, if it's, like, other events like WWA, I usually don't. But, yeah. Awesome. Well, Jet, we are so stoked to have you here. We're so stoked on your run, and we are so stoked to see what you do the rest of the season. Thank you. Yeah, I'm super stoked to see it, too. But see you guys soon. Awesome. We are here with Reed Hansen, and you've been judging for the past two days. How's that been? Oh, it's been great. Good times. Are you melting at all from the, the heat? It is warm. Nice and toasty. Yeah. Um, so we had Jamie break down how scoring goes for the wakeboarding, but Jet just let us know that they actually have unlimited tricks all the time in their past, as many as they can do. So can you break down how judging works for wake surfing? Yeah, so it's technically an overall uh, impression system that we use um, in wake surfing. Uh, so it's all an overall encompassing uh, run. So, you know, it airs, switch, backside, frontside, we, we kind of take it all into account. So if you're doing, you know, stuff one way or uh, and not hitting the other way, then we definitely take that into account. And then, um, and then yeah, it's just, um, it's a base, basically an overall impression. Okay. And you guys have the skim style and surf style ride together at these events, correct? That is correct. And, the, you know, the thing with, um, with how we do it here at the PWT, it's pretty cutthroat. So once you fall on your first pass, you're done with your first pass. And same thing with your second pass. You fall on your beginning of your second pass, you're done. So uh, we really reward um, getting all of your tricks, right? And, and doing having an overall encompassing run. And uh, that, you know, that's why we, we, we almost penalize falls, 
Right. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, Reed. We appreciate you, and we're stoked to see you at Absolutely. this event still. Yeah, thank you, Kate. All right, you guys, we are here with Finn Bullock, and you've been absolutely ripping today. It's unreal, but we want to ask some questions. Mostly we're wondering, there's that nice shallow spot out there. How does that affect you while you're wakeboarding? Um, it's definitely been kind of affecting the wake because the wake goes from, you know, being huge in the deep spots to dropping off significantly right, um, right here just because it goes from being, you know, 10 plus feet to six, seven feet and makes a big difference. But um, a lot of the riders have been able to adjust to it and either do a trick before or a trick after. And then, um, yeah, that hasn't really seemed to affect too many people, but it will get you if you're not paying attention. For sure. Did that, like, did you plan out your run before this and do you always do that or is that something new for this course? Um, no, I always have a planned out run and then obviously with this, uh, this comp site coming back again this year, I, I feel like most of us are pretty ready for it. But, um, but yeah, there's definitely is some strategic planning to it to do certain tricks in, in that area just maybe because it is shallower and, and you know makes it a little bit harder to get the, the bigger rotations around with a yeah. with smaller wake. For sure. Um, this is the first stop of the Pro Tour. Are you stoked for it to come back? What's your feelings on, on the tour? Yeah, I'm really excited. They have the uh, full show going on today, which I think is you know awesome for wakeboarding, and I think Supra is doing the best job of trying to bring you know wakeboarding to a to a whole new level, and I, I think that's what it needs. So I, they've been killing it, and definitely happy for it to continue. Um, yeah, continue every, every year. Awesome. And speaking of Supra, you are one of their new team athletes. Congratulations. Thank you. Is that a dream come true? What's your what's your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I've obviously I've been doing the tour since uh, 2020 when I start, turned pro, and I've been you know obviously loving the boats. And Supra, you know, does the most for wakeboarding out of any other boat company, and they they're an awesome company. I'm really 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 fortunate that they're backing me and you know obviously hopefully a long future with them cool well, we are so stoked for you we're so stoked watching you ride today you've been absolutely ripping and we're stoked to see how this whole season goes for you yeah i appreciate it thank you and yeah let's get it absolutely shredding out here right now pwt 2023 stop number one she's a beaut of the Pro Wakeboard Tour here in Groveland, Florida. If you are super bummed that you missed it, because you should be, not to worry, you can check out our next stop. We have our dates and stops listed on the Pro Wakeboard Tour website. And yeah, we're super stoked to all the winners. We're so proud of all these guys coming out and just ripping today. And we cannot thank, you know, Pro Wakeboard Tour, Supra, and all the other sponsors putting on this event. And have a good one.